Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to animate Genesis figures in Blender and then export the animation back to DAS using the RigGNS add-on. RigGNS is a Blender add-on for rigging Genesis figures with the Rigify rig, animating the figures with animations from Mixamo or DAS animation library, and also for creating lip sync and facial expressions for the figures. RigGNS 3.5 is the latest version at the time this video was made, which is what I'll be using in this video. Please note that versions prior to this do not support exporting animations from Blender back to DAS Studio. With that said, let's start the lesson. In the Smart Content pane, I'll load a Genesis 3 mail into the scene. I'll now add close to the figure. I like reducing the vertex count of each object by reducing the resolution level in the parameters pane. I'm going to type res in this search box to filter out that parameter. I will now select the first item, which is the figure, and then change its resolution level from high to base. I will do this for the rest of the items here. Now, to export the figure, I'll go to File, Export, rename the file and save it into a preferred folder. In the Export option, ensure to checkmark, Selected, Figures, Collect textures to folder, match clothing into figure skeleton, allow degraded skinning, allow degraded scaling, and also have it as FBX binary before clicking accept. Now, after exporting the Genesis 3 mail, I am going to add another figure, but first I will move this figure to the side to make room for the next figure, because we always want to have the figure in the middle of the scene before exporting it to Blender. Now, I'll go ahead and load a Genesis 8 female. I will also add some cloth to the figure. I'll add a footwear. I will also add hair to the figure. Again, I'll go to the parameters pane and reduce the resolution level from high to base for all items. This is completely optional. One important thing to point out is that any item added to the figure should be automatically parented to the figure. A way to know this is checking the outliner here in the scene pane, where, when the selected figure is expanded, you should see that all added items are enveloped by the selected figure. That is, if any added item is hanging out after collapsing the figure, means the object is not parented to the figure. And that can be problematic in Blender, since the item might just remain floating in the scene after animating the figure. Now, I will also export this figure. With that done, I will switch to Blender. In Blender, I will bring up the Properties panel and select RigGNS tab. You can see I have version 3.5. Remember prior versions do not support exporting animation back to DAS. Now I'll go ahead and import the figure we exported from DAS. I'll start with the Genesis 3 mail. I will then quickly rig the figure with the rigging buttons here, add meta rig, match rig, generate rig, and finally rig figure. I fast forwarded through the rigging process as the actual time it takes to finish rigging is longer. Now with the figure rigged, 
I'll switch to object mode before moving this figure away from the center to make space for the next figure. The reason I moved the figure in object mode and not pose mode is to prevent the figure from snapping right back to the center of the scene later on when I reset all bones when animating. Now, I will import the next figure and also rig it with the buttons here. With both figures rigged, now we can import animation to the figures, which we can then export back to DAS. But very quickly, I would like to talk about some features added to this version. So, I'm going to import animations I already downloaded from Mixamo by clicking the Mixamo button here in the Animations tab. I have these animations which were downloaded from Mixamo.com. You can find videos on how to download animations from Mixamo on this channel. Now, I'm going to select this YMCA dance here and then import that. Here you can see I have the Genesis 8 figure as the active selection. Let me undo the added animation and import it again. After importing an animation, you can see we still have the Genesis 8 figure as the active selection. In previous version of the add-on, after importing an animation, the add-on assumes the last rigged figure is what you want to bind the animation to, hence always making it the active selection. For instance, working on this scene with previous versions of the add-on will always revert the selection back to Genesis 8 female whenever an animation is imported, since it's the last rigged figure, and that will force me to constantly reselect the figure I want to bind the animation to. Now, however, if I undo the animation and select the Genesis 3 male rig, you should see that the add-on remembers the active selection after importing an animation. All I need to do now is click the Bind button to bind the animation to the figure. Let me import the animation again and bind it to Genesis 8 Female. I'll then play the animation for preview. Another update made to the add-on is here in the adjustment. Of course, We've always had this adjust buttons in previous versions which is used to adjust all these different body parts of the figure. An update was made to this other button below it, the adjust position button. This button is used for placing the figure at the right spot in the scene when working with multiple animations. For example, placing the figure at a point where a previous animation ends so that a newly added animation can seamlessly begin from that point. You can check out the video on animating multiple figures in Blender on this channel to further understand the use of this button. So, in previous versions, this adjust position button can only be used after baking the animation as the button is grayed out before baking. Now, the button can be used before and after baking the animation. Another fun update to this button is, we can now adjust the position of the figure on the Z-axis by holding the control key, clicking the button and dragging up or down. Also, when you hold down the shift key, you can now lock the adjustment on X-axis, and holding the alt key you will lock the adjustment on Y-axis. For some reason I need to release the Alt key button before clicking to apply the adjustment. Let me show you a quick use of the Adjust Position button. This figure is wearing a heel, which doesn't look right. Now I will use the body adjustment to correct this. Now I will hold Ctrl and click the Adjust Position button to move it slightly up on the Z-axis. I believe this is far better. Another update is, 
After baking an animation, you can see the animation is properly named just as the imported file here in the action list, with a prefix to hint the figure it was baked to. Previous versions will only name baked animations as action, and you will have to rename it manually, or else you will have to deal with Blender's naming convention, which is action.001, action.002, and so on. One final update I will talk about is, we can now not only make adjustments to the body part after binding, but also after baking the animation. These are all minor updates I believe will significantly boost your workflow. Alright, now let's continue with the main update we're looking at in this video, which is exporting animations from Blender back to DAS. It's worth noting that you don't need to have the animation baked to export it to DAS, so long it's already bound to the character. Now, after making all necessary adjustments to the animation, I will go ahead and export it by selecting File, then Export, and then select DAS BVH Format. I'll choose a folder to save it in and rename the file, and then select Export. Most times, I just scroll the mouse wheel in and out, because exporting the animation freezes the scene, and the moment it becomes responsive, I know the file has been exported. Now I will switch to DAS Studio and then go to File, then Import, locate the animation, and open it. You can enable Adjust Scene to match the file, however, Limit Rotation to Joints as well as Limit Translation to Hip should be checked before clicking Accept. Once that is done, I'll bring up the timeline and play the animation to preview the imported animation. You can see that the figure is floating in space, and we don't want that. To fix this, I'll go back to the first frame by clicking the previous button, then go to Edit up here, then Figure, and then move to Floor, or simply use the shortcut, Ctrl D at the first frame, and that should place the figure back on the ground. Now the animation is way better. We can also import the same animation for the Genesis 3 male. Let me also move this figure to the ground, go back to the first frame of the animation, and press Ctrl D. So that's that. You can see the animation exported from Blender can be mapped to both Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 figures in Jazz Studio. And that brings us to the end of this video. There is a link in the description that will direct you to Gumroad, where you can get the add-on. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, please like the video by clicking the thumbs up icon, and if you'd like to see more videos on character animation using Blender and Jazz Studio, please consider subscribing to the channel. I sincerely hope you give this add-on a try. Thank you for your time. Till next time.